Hi, this looks interesting. What do you guys sell? We are selling like uh, vegan products. Oh, time. okay. Uh, yeah, I'll try some. Okay, wait, do I take it with my hand? Yeah, just take it. Okay. This is a mushroom pan. Say bismillah. So it should taste like a mushroom? Fruit. A fish fruit. With garlic and, and thyme. I can't really taste the mushroom. This is actually really good. So what is this supposed to be? An alternative it, for like a, like a can you put it in a burger? So like a patty, so like a beef patty. So oh, you're okay. using for a burger or something else. Nice one, thank you boss. This is so dead fam. Let me go until he can't see me. This much is dead. Where's the bin? This is actually really good. Cut the cameras. So today man's at the Fine Foods Fair in Olympia. Now I know I look bit out of place. I don't think I'm dressed appropriately for this occasion. Them and I are wearing suits and that. I just came here to try food and uh, see what everyone's saying. I just ate some munch that was so dead and I think the guy clocked that I didn't like it and I had to dash it in the bin. It's okay. But yeah, we'll move on to the next stall now. That one looks bare haram. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, thank you. I just want to just this get a bit more. A surprise oh, what's this? A surprise? No, it's just a surprise. We just got past introductions and we're already oh, getting yeah. surprises. So these are gluten free flowers. Okay. Man said they're calling the company owner because these men think we're buying bare stuff. Um, he's from the Daily Cuisine Show. Yeah, he runs the Daily Cuisine Show. Hello, nice to Started, meet you. he founded it in 2014, and uh, yeah, it's been doing really well. They haven't been looking specifically at oils though, so. So what, you said this is a surprise, but well, what can I do with this? Can I snort it? I can. No, it's uh, for baking. baking. It's for baking. Man got some powders. You know what I'm gonna try and do? I'm gonna try and just find bare free food samples and get dinner for today and then at the same time just do food reviews. This seems like an interesting product. What have you got here? Well, we are French uh, dry prune producer. Oh, French? Yeah. Oh, we have Monsieur Ryan Francois from the La Daily Cuisine. So what differentiates you from other companies that are similar? Well, uh, our uh, expertise in prunes, we do high quality products. So you men are just prune experts then? Yeah. So you what's this? I can take by my hand, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll put this in my ear and pretend it's a cigarette. You want to test this one? What this did you eat? Uh, le quoi? Prune puree. Okay. Cream with chocolate and chili. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest here. Oh, this is surprisingly really nice. Oi, my eyes are watering fam. She said it's got spice on it, innit? Can you see my eyes? Do you want to try it? Is it nice? Yeah, cameraman is having a seizure. Let's see what other free munch we can get. Anis, bonjour. Hi, how are you? Well, what is it that you guys sell? Uh, we make a candy, a hard coated candy okay. with different flavorings. Uh, have you got any that I can try? Merci. So don't bite it. Okay. Just let it melt in your okay, mouth. Okay, I'll give one to a boss. I'm not a fan, I'm not gonna lie. You have the seed at the end, you will have the small seed. Oh. This is uh, the start, the beginning of the candy. Oh, so you need to work your way down to when it actually tastes nice. Okay. Yeah, this thing is dead, I can't lie. I haven't tried anything that I'm thinking, oh, it's nice. I need to start walking around with a bin, bro. <laughs> so I can dash all this dead munching. I don't know why these man called it fine food, yeah? They should have called it like below average food or like adequate food. That's a bare cheese. Cheese! Oh, that was dead. Oh, would you like to we get... just did it. Oh, sorry. Hi, guys. Hi, I was just saying cheese in front of the camera. I thought it was funny. What do you want to get? Can I try some, though? Yeah, of course. Should we say cheese together? Yeah. But you can't be in camera with plastic. Say so swear. You can't put plastic This isn't plastic. In... This cheese. So, you know where you need to get, dude? Look around and then come to us and we say cheese. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. So we got the uh, Taste France section over there, and then we got this place here, and blah blah. blah. And then we come over here, and in this place we got cheese. cheese. <laughs> that was not pre-orchestrated at all. <laughs> She's walking like she owns the place. <laughs> cheese, we've been finished. Who are you filming for? This I'm is filming student. for myself. Because this event isn't really accessible to everyone. You have to like show proof of trade to enter. And How did you kind of squeeze yourself in here? I trade. I've got a big business. <laughs> Revenue's like seven million a year. So that is all a lie? What is it? Absolute <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> My cameraman is Monsieur Ryan Francois. He's yeah. a journalist at the Daily uh, Cuisine Show as well. It's all bullshit. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Are you French originally or are you? I am originally. Where am I from originally? What would I say? Yeah. I'd probably say French, but then the accent, nah. like you're too old to be French without an accent now. <laughs> so, oh, come on. So why are these men finessing the bags that my grandma started making? 
Have you got a minute? Um, this doesn't look like food. It's not, no, we're part of the non-food trail. Oh, hey, these men have some bougie chocolates, bro. Hiya, how are you? These look very interesting. Sorry, I should have used a better adjective. So what inspired these? Because I can see it's very artistic. Uh, well, I'm not the chocolatier, I'm just one of the directors, but it was really the flavours um, and getting the flavours right inside and then replicating them to reflect the flavours on the outside was really important. Wait, so what flavour what flavor is this supposed to reflect? So this is pistachio. This one looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's lemon meringue pie. Yeah. Got loads of biscuit, millionaire, strawberry. Peach or coconut and the flavour is supposed to reflect how it looks? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just go with the strawberry first. It's meant to taste like strawberry. Oh! I should not have beer that hard. <laughs> I didn't realise there was a filling. <laughs> I chomped that bro. So this is the one that I had my eyes on before. This was the blueberry and peach. And peach. <laughs> how much do these cost? Guys, what are you guys doing? This doesn't look like food. We are, we're Wandering Soul and we are playing some doo-wop and all sorts of music. Are you allowed to play it right now? Yeah. Were you guys hired to do this? Or? We were hired to do this. It's hard okay. to believe, I know. <laughs> that's, that's not what I was trying to say. To I'll go sing in the middle. Now as well. You need a vocalist, yeah? Maybe. Yeah. Alright, all right, whenever you guys are ready. Alright, one, two, uh, 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 uh. Superstition, yeah. Black cats and a voodoo doll. Tell them, so I feel a premonition. Jeez, that's ad lib king. New sensations, yeah. New kicks by candlelight. Cold, she's got a new addiction. These men are hard. What? 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 in the rain to make you live a crazy life, but you take away your pain. She will wear you out. Living a vida loca. Check it out, fellas. Living a vida loca. Living a vida loca. That was. Oh, yeah, I'm putting the mic down to give a round of applause, yeah? That was amazing. Why is no one else clapping? You, we couldn't have done it without you. That was vibes. Hype man. Yeah. Vibes. I can see why you're hired now. Okay, sorry, we've done it before. Is there any uh, favorite places that you guys can recommend that we should go and visit? Do you like chocolates? That chocolate guy over there. Can't really uh, eat chocolate and play, yeah, I've tried some bad stuff, I could tell you what to avoid. That's do. <laughs> no naked. Come on. No, I'm not snitching up. That man had bars. Oh, hey, man said the spice pioneer, you know. What does pioneer mean? Pioneer is the first guy that did something. He just didn't create spice, did he? Well, let's, ask, let's ask this brother if he created spices. So my man's there, looking like that, and you're telling me. That man created the Sri Lankan curry sauce. Well, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Here? I'm okay, thank you. So what? What is? What's going on here? What's all of this? Um, when I make jam, marmalade, pickles, chutneys, um, using um, local ingredients, traditional combinations, and trying to go for something a bit more unusual. And all I'm seeing is unusual here. Yeah. These flavors are looking mad. That's a plum and cinnamon. Where, how do you come up with these flavors? Do you just freestyle? Partly it's very classical, um, looking back to some of the traditional recipes from the past. Is there anything here that you've actually, uh, like any combination that you've made yourself? Like just off the top of your head, yeah. remix the two? Yes, absolutely. For example, blood orange and passion fruit. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to try and spot the weirdest flavour that we've got here. How do you even say this? Matt said bergamot. How do you say Oh, yeah. it's, um, it's uh, a citrus fruit, it's, it's quite unusual, oh, you don't so see them over here. Bergamot. What else is there? Traditional pickle. That must taste dead, I can't lie. Cherry Jubilee Compote. How do you say the line? Compote. <laughs> Compote. Hey, this is like the halfway point. We've done like most of the stores on the first floor of this festival thing. No, it's not a festival, it's like a food fair, innit? I can't lie, 20% success rate. 80% of the food is dead, yeah? These man said fine food, it's not fine. Overall, first floor, I mean, yeah, ground floor. I'll give the ground floor, yeah, an average of, I'll give it like a good 4.2 out of 300. Oh, hey, they're getting married. Oh, hey, the spot. Man said the baklava, yeah? Man said bakla Oh, hi. Is this your stool? Yes. So what do you guys say? I know it's baklava, but what's so special? Oh, I'm just uh, documenting this. Oh, okay. Are you okay to be on camera? Sorry, where are you from? I'm working with the Daily Cuisine Show. So yeah, I just wanted to know a bit more about your company. 
this is a handmade product by us. Everything's made. We've been established for the past 20 years and we make everything in-house fresh from the filo pastry to the syrup. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello, Casey. Hello, Casey, hi. Casey Clark. Casey, that's right. From Sweet uh, Cakey Thing. From Sweet. Now, let's, let's stand in front of the store, yeah? yeah? You might have reinvented cake. What does that mean? So, Sweet Cakey Thing is naughty, naturally outrageous indulgence. 100% all natural ingredients. It's got no wheat, no dairy, no grains, no soya, no additives, no preservatives. What does it have? Is this the vanilla? Berry. This is the vanilla Very and delicious. strawberry sponge. I think I've never tried that one before. I've tried all the other We'll try it at the same time then. Okay. I've tried all the other ones. I want you to know, I don't even care what you really think. I want to see the performance right now. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, we'll right. fall to the floor, yeah? Let's go. Knocking it back, yeah? yeah? Go. Wow. Okay, I think this is the end of the video now. Yeah, bare different foods and that. I can't lie, 80% of them were dead. Oh yeah, my camera died as well. This is recording on a phone that has 10% battery. Uh, what else can I say? <laughs> my back hurts. The show is now closed. The show is now closed. This, this is what it looks like. Just give us a little 360 of the place. Loads of stores, loads of fairs. Oh yeah, what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to go to more like events and fairs like this. If you know of any that are happening similar to this, say it in the comments and that. Particularly, I think the main thing I learned today is that bougie food is not for me. If you're trying to eat something nice here, yeah, then fine food, I can't lie, that's not for you. Mm. Oh, you're trying to get a picture? I don't mind being in it. The chocolates, yeah, they were very good. I can't lie though, their pricing was looking a bit mad. Now come here, come here, come here. No, no. No, so you want to scream, but then you don't want to come in a video. Weird guy, bro. Dead trim as well. I'm joking, I'm joking. Like and subscribe and what else? And uh, share. Thanks. Show, show them this thing. How is man getting in with this? This is the most generic nonsense I've seen in my career. The Daily Cuisine Show, please.